Hello and welcome everybody, it's Jay Wits back here with Pokemon Y. I am ready to take on the first gym. Uh, right now I only have about two functioning Pokemon, that's Jiraiya and the Torchic that you can never nickname because it's an event Pokemon apparently. But that is probably going to be all we need. Right now Torchic is higher level than Jiraiya so I'm going to try and leave with Froakie but it would be pretty good to just burn all these bugs to a crisp. So Let's get in, let's do it! I love it. Um, so the main gym leader is a photographer, and so she takes pictures all over the place. Here we've got like Butterfree. Oh, they all have names. Nectar Siren Song. To be evolved. It's Metapod. It's beautiful. Um, that one doesn't have a name because it's too small. In fact, I don't think any of the other ones have a name. Kind of awesome though. So uh, let's do it. Whee! We're in the net. All right, so um, it's pretty straightforward. It's not like it's a difficult puzzle like some of the gyms can be. I kind of just like knocking off all the little water bubbles, even though you're not supposed to. Pop, 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 uh, mm -mm, pop, there we go. Yeah, so not everything is connected. Um, you kind of just have to follow the lines that exist and pop the bubbles. So here, like, I could go around this guy if I really didn't want- Nope, I couldn't! <laughs> this battle's mandatory. So let's go ahead and do it. Well, no, I could go around him. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll take the experience whenever I can get it. Good on, David. And your lady Ba. Ultimate is a Pokemon that I like from Gold and Silver a whole lot. Hmm, all right, well. Let's just try bubbles, see how that goes. Yeah, it did not go well <laughs> at all. Oh man, yeah, I could just torch everybody with Torchic. I, oh, and torch a Torchic, that was good. Um, just don't want to. <laughs> just really stinks having to do this slow battle and also getting hit. What the heck, did he get all five hits? Hit five times! Jeez! It's almost one for every arm. Okay, I guess pound is my best option here, which is really sad. Uh, okay, confused? Nope. I'm noping out of this one. Um, I'm sorry, Drive, but you just got destroyed. Alright, let's see how many hits I get here. One. Two. Two. Wow. Must be really intimidated by my Torchic. And he should be because... <sighs> Flaming death. Uh, this Torchic's so overpowered, and because the game treats it like it was a Pokemon that was traded to you, it gets boosted experience. So it levels faster than everybody else. It really is overpowered. My goal is maybe to switch it out uh, whenever I feasibly can, but for now it's really good and yeah, kind of hard not to use it all the time. Alright, so that route doesn't work around the side. This route um, doesn't work. No, this should work. It shouldn't matter either way. I'll have this. Oh, I guess if you want this guy to battle you, you actually have to go and get it. I'm going to go and get it. I like experience. Um, do I need a potion on Froki? I think he can tough it out. I really just want to use him to take a hit and then split experience. Alright, so here we got Zachary with Spewpa. Uh, sort of explaining how the bug type Pokemon can evolve extremely quickly. It's only level 10, already is at its second stage. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pound and run, unless I'll eat- oh, so bad. So bad. <laughs> I love how the little confetti on him disappears and then reappears. Yeah, this is, uh, this is truly a job for Torchic. Yeah, it's just gonna harden forever. That would have been the longest, most unbearable battle for you guys to watch. Here? Boom. So easy. 
Hey, did Froki... Oh, no, Froki gets the experience second. See, we're already level 14. Don't want to be too high. And I get 13 on Froki. You evolve quickly, too. That I do. Level 16, I believe. So, hmm... Oh no! I have like an OCD. I want to go back and pop the bubbles behind me. Uh, I can't do that if I keep battling. Alright, Charlotte. So here's Kakuna, and it's gonna be another one of those hardened battles. I'm so sorry, Froki. You're just, you know, not destroying. Whoa! Was that a critical? No, that was just good. <laughs> Maybe I should have just been using Bubble. Wow, okay. Uh, I'm just kidding. Froki, you are uh, back in the limelight. And Combi! Female! So this one could become a Vespa Quinn someday. But I am going to end those dreams of royalty right now. Be gone, Knave! Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Uh, the Evolve Pokemon I almost knock out in one hit. The little Combi, barely anything. But it's all good. I'll take the knockout. Ah, so close. My web wasn't strong enough to keep you. That it was not. Alright, so because I'm just OCD, I gotta pop all the bubbles. I don't think you get anything for doing this. It's more just something I feel I have to do. And we are ready to take... Oh! Whoa. <laughs> she scared me, even though I just battled her. That was smart. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and potion up Froki. And it's time to take on our first gym leader. Let's do it. That determined expression, that glint in your eye, says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic. Just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? No. Fantastic. Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a blooming, uh, lost joy, victory, something about camera. She makes a lot of camera puns. <laughs> now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. She, um, I think breaks the Pokemon world record, and this is even including myself, for puns in a, uh, single one-minute segment. So sorry, so far she's already made comments about zooming, focus, shot, uh, and she will not stop. So here we've got Surskit, who is part water, so Bubble is probably not going to be that good overall. Uh, I'm just going to pound. He's only level... Uh, Alright, well, now the power of fire is weakened, which actually could have an effect on Torchic. Maybe... No, Quick Attack's even worse than Pound. Why would I ever do that? Oh, this is going to be one of those battles, eh? And my poor ninja speed is down. Bubble Wars. Yay. It's alright. I'll get him in the next one. Oh, no I won't. Come on. Come on. You're going to waste the potion on Surskit? Don't see me using a potion. You deserve that critical hit. Uh. <laughs> alright, well... Uh, I can lick my way to victory here. And I should hit level 14, so we're getting pretty close to our first uh, evolution. Down you go. Sirskit always reminds me of those enemies in um, <laughs> Super Mario 64 that skid across the water. You can kind of jump. Oh, yeah, water pulse! Yeah, I want to forget. I love that he learns water pulse so quickly. Um, pound. As great as it is, uh, 40 base power isn't that good. If I have to hit for normal, I'll do it just with my sneaky hit first attack, quick attack. Don't care. Froki's ready to take on Vivalon, who apparently has different wing patterns depending on where you live. Uh, this is like the default pattern. Also, some people like to make the joke that Vivalon is the, um, whoa. Oh, just to uh, raise defense. 
Um, yeah, that's still not that good because he is still a third stage Pokemon, but I should be able to at least grind him out with Pulse. Um. But yeah, a lot of people joke that Vivalon is Pokemon 666, the one that people have been curious. Um, let's say it's got the devil's wings or something nonsensical like that. Boom! Doesn't matter. Those devil's wings did not stop. My beautiful, beautiful Water Pulse, up to level 15, and we are ready to wreck. So that was a very successful gym overall. I didn't even have to use the cheap Event Torchic that much, which is good. Young Trainer you? No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Froakie have shown me a whole new depth of field, pun one. Fantastic, just fantastic. She's just fantastic so many times. If she didn't say fantastic all the time, I'd like her about 30% more. With that bug badge, Pokemon up to 30 will obey you, even the ones you get from trades. And this TM commemorates your win, Infestation, which is great for all the zero bug Pokemon I'm ever going to use for now. <laughs> Using that one teaches your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter set to 1 1,000th can snap shut. All right, pun two. <laughs> They're point and click easy, pun three, and you can use them over and over again. And it'll be impossible for your opponent to flee from battle. Now, can you zoom in a bit, pun four, and check out the tent behind me? You'll be back to the entrance faster than a flash, pun five. Five puns in one speech, also including the two puns she said before that. That is absurd. Uh, I do like her, though. Photography is a big hobby of mine. I think it's kind of cute. And apparently that was Butterfree's secret. We could have just walked in right from the beginning. Ho ho ho! Would you look at that bug badge? Very nice, future champ. I bet that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you lead up on the Pokemon Lab in Lumio City and show it to him, huh? I am totally ready to go to Lumio, so that sounds good to me. Just gonna heal up my guys and then get the best item ever. So we are gonna talk to Viola's friend over here who was previously blocking the route. Sorry, I'm <laughs> way too caught up with the skates. Oh, you are, aren't you? You're one of the kids that got a Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? Would you look at that? You got a bug badge. Looks like I might have a new scoop. To beat Viola at your young age. You really are something, aren't you? Never did introduce myself. I'm Alexa. The gym leader you just faced, Viola, is my younger sister. I work as a journalist myself. Why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? dun 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 Experience here is so, so, so good. It's ridiculous. Uh, it really helps your training. In fact, uh, I'm going to show you guys how it works, just in case, because I know some of you still have not had the fortune to get the game. I might as well show you reasons why. And here it is in my bag. So now, instead of being an item that you attach to one Pokemon and they siphon some experience, it is now something that you can turn on and off. Um, I definitely would have it on for almost all reasons. And it gives extra experience to everyone else in your team, regardless of if they are in a battle, without taking any experience away from the active. So total, it's adding almost like 300% more experience, which is just amazing. So let's give it a go. Combi, are you female? If not, you're useless. Useless. I mean, I'm still going to try and catch it, but I am disappointed. So, uh, and because I can still get experience from captures, I can still use this as an example. I don't know why, but I've always loved the sound effect of Sweet Scent. Even though it's silly to stop my evasiveness, it's not going to be a big deal. I just like that, ooh, that sound. <laughs> Alright, so, Combi joins the team. Regular Pokeball is all I'll need. Get in my ball! Bump, 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 click. Beautiful. Sorry, with the with it if it was a female combi, maybe I would consider making a part of my team. I think Vespa Quinn's kinda cool. Males cannot evolve into the coin bee, so boxing it. No nickname for you. Sorry, Combi. You are adorable though. But yeah, so uh, experience is shared amongst everybody, which is 
really, really cool. And some people have complained, they're like, oh, that's overpowered. How could you use it throughout the game? Your team will be 10 levels higher than everyone. What I do in that situation is I just go to the box and, you know, move my Pokemon around because that's all you have to do. That way you have, you know, by the end of the game, like 30, 40 Pokemon that are the level of taking on the Elite Four instead of just having like four or five. I think it's amazing and I cannot wait to show you guys more. So. I'm going to try and... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm trying to play this like it's a stealth game. I'm, I can do this. I can do this. Ready? Go, 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 go. No! <laughs> My thumb slipped. I couldn't press down. All right. Looks like I'll have to battle this guy. Oh, he does not look happy. Gardner Whedon. He looks like he has seen some things. Uh, Corfish. Corfish is also the Pokemon that uh, Tierno has with him at all times. It's kind of silly. Like, yeah, I he's not the worst Pokemon ever, but if I had to choose a starter, I would not pick Corfish. Definitely not my primary choice. Mm. So down he goes. And I'm probably going to have a bunch of the weaklings on my team level up from this. Let's see, everybody gets experience. Pampor grew to level 5. Never had to touch. Fletchling grew to level 5. Who I might keep on my team. A lot of people have told me to. Oh, level 6. Two levels at once. Quick attack. <laughs> so, Panseer level 5. Pidgey level 4. I'll definitely be Pidgey level 5. Pidgey level 5. <laughs> it's almost ridiculous, but it's so helpful because who wants to just sit and grind each individual Pokemon just to have a evenly leveled team when you can spread the love this way. It's so much better. Oh, now he blocks off the path. It wasn't that big of a deal, actually. So, around we go. I wouldn't mind going through the flowers, maybe catching a Pokemon or two, but for now, I am just trying to speed through this maze. I am doing a miraculous job at failing completely. There we go. I think different Pokemon come out in different colored um... Grass, flowers, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hit L. Excellent. went to super training. Which is something I definitely would like to display before the end of the game. You definitely don't need it, but it is really helpful getting IVs. Pokemon and me is the thing I haven't really gotten that much into. Again, I'll probably explain it, play the minigames at some point. Have a designated episode when I'm getting a little tired of the grind. For now, though, things are going well. This game is pretty fast-paced compared to other Pokemon games, so I've still got... All the energy I could possibly want. And what looks to be our last chance of capturing someone in this area? Skitty! I actually haven't caught Skitty before in any of my games. Um, quick attack should not destroy it. Oh no, I've been identified. The jig is up. She knows everything. I love the little tail whip animation. All right, and another Pokemon of the team. And even though these are Pokemon that I probably won't use ever, it's still crazy that I already have like 15 Pokemon in the span of episode three. So much faster than other games. I got Skitty and it's cool. Yay! It shows its cute side by chasing its own tail until it gets dizzy. Um, is there an item over here to the left? Nope, that's just the guy that's seen some things. Oh, and here's a skater. Whee! I could battle her. I don't feel like it. Poison Barb. That would be awesome, except I have no poison Pokemon other than the stupid Weedle, which I'm not going to use. All right, guys. Now looks like a pretty good stopping point. We are about halfway through this maze, labyrinth, whatever you want to call it. The more I battle through these guys, the more I will be able to level up my Pokemon through the EXP share. And the sooner we'll be able to get to Lumio City and do all kinds of exciting non-battling things, which 
It's kind of an oxymoron if you think about it. Either way, thank you guys for watching Pokemon Y, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode. Oh yeah, and I fixed my clock so it doesn't say I'm in 2011. That was weird.